and gentlemen, distinguished guests, fellow artists, a very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome and thank you for joining the official opening of Singapore Watercolour Society 54th Annual Exhibition and the 15th Ju National Junior Watercolour Competition Prize Presentation Ceremony. This exhibition will be held today onwards till next Tuesday, 26 September 2023. Without further ado, let us invite Mr. Donald Tan, our President, President of Singapore Watercolour Society, to deliver his welcome address. Mr. Tan. Ms. Gan Xiao Huang, Minister of State for Ministry of Education and Ministry of Manpower, Dr. Ho Ka Leong, Honorary Advisor to the Singapore Arts Federations, Presidents and Officials from the various uh, arts societies in Singapore, fellow artists, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Singapore Watercolour Society's 54th uh, Annual Exhibitions entitled Colourful Splashes. Now, the Singapore Watercolour Society is uh, indeed very honoured to have MOS here with us this afternoon to witness our annual ex exhibition. Thank you, ma'am. Now, as we know, that watercolour is an extremely challenging medium and it is almost impossible to make any corrections or much alterations after it is executed by an artist. And the artist must be very exact and decisive when applying this uh, medium. Now, in order to produce a good piece of a standard of work of uh, watercolour, I think you need to process excellent skills and have su sufficient experiences with the medium. Now, despite this um, not so easy to paint medium, today the society has more than 170 members from different walks of life, as well as, uh, of, as, well as many nationalities. Each year, we are attracted about 15 to 20 uh, members to the society. Now, SWS is, not, is more than just a collection of artists. It is a community that factors growth, nurture, talents, and encourage innovation. While we have a stringent admission criteria, to be accepted as a members, but we do encourage more watercolorists to join us so that we can grow the base and continue to promote the arts of uh, this art form in Singapore. This afternoon's exhibition is an important art event uh, held annually for our members to participate and showcase their best work. It is also an excellent platform for them to express their styles and creativity in their works to the public. Now, we have close to 95 uh, participating artists with us this year. About 10% of, the of them are taking part for the first time. Now, I, uh, after the submission work yesterday, I noticed that many have members have also put in a lot of efforts to produce very good quality of works. It's also encouraged to see that many of them have tried their, to create their own unique style, trying to differentiate from their masters or their teachers. And the subjects also has a various, various variety, uh, varieties, include besides the local and overseas street scenes, there's also landscape, flora, portraits, or even abstracts. Now, this exhibition, uh, besides this physical exhibition, the exhibition is also held online. We have uh, produced a virtual uh, portal and uh, a website to showcase all selected works so that anyone who are enabled to come, come to the exhibition here, especially our overseas uh, viewers, uh, is allowed to view the works online at their convenience anytime, anywhere, and beyond the exhibition period. Now, to mark the exhibitions, we have also produced a 20 pages uh, art catalogue. Now, next, um, I will touch on our National Junior Watercolour Competitions. It is part of our efforts to outreach to generate interest in watercolour, uh, especially to discover emerging artists. Uh, we started this journey in uh, 2007, 
And today, the competition has gained popularities and among members, uh, of, sorry, among students, as well as support from schools, uh, teachers, and parents. Now, due to the overwhelming response that we received last year, we have expanded this year's competition into three age categories and with a fresh format. The primary schools uh, aged 5 to 12 years old submitted their paintings um, that they painted at home uh, and the secondary school categories aged 13 to 18 painted on location at the Singapore River. The competition was successfully concluded last month and I received overwhelming response. Uh, many of the parents here will remember, I think we have attracted a record high of close to 1,400 entries. And the quality of works are excellent. I think the judges had a hard time selecting the best work and deliberating. And in any case, a total of 54 winning entries uh, were selected. And these works are also displayed at this uh, exhibition at this corner. Now, in total, these exhibitions showcase 230 watercolour works, I believe, making us the biggest, largest watercolour shows in Singapore. And I would like to thank the school teachers, parents and for their support and students for their active participation. And this could not be possible without the generous uh, support, sponsorship from our various uh, corporate partners. These partners responded to my call and they stepped forward to join us in our efforts to nurture young artists. My special thanks goes to Art Friend, Eduport Private Limited, and Ageless Visions. Later, the students will receive a very specially uh, fabricated uh, plaque from Ageless uh, Visions sponsored by them. Uh, and moving forwards, we are hoping that we'll see more corporate uh, support from the corporations, as well as maybe working very closely with MOE to promote these art forms in their syllabus. Now, let me speak a bit uh, briefly in Mandarin. Sunjing the Zhu Ping, Jia Ping Men, Hua Yu Men, Dajia Xiao Hao, Xie Dajia Chu Xi, Jingnan Xiao the Kai Mu Dian Li. I also thank the of Tai 白灰、主色调、干湿、还有不要收或放、区一色、虚、一时、冷暖关系、色彩、透明不透明、还有颜色的色结奏 呃,经营来完成一幅很好的作品,呈现给大家。画友们的踊跃参与，大力支持，使到这次的画展声色不少，让我继续以英语发言。Now recently attended the National Art Council's uh, strategic directions set out for the uh, uh, five years uh, our SG Art Plans to engage the community. As an arts organization, I think the Singapore Watercolor Society we, we can play an uh, important role to develop the capabilities of the visual arts sectors. Inspire not just the next generation of the watercolorists, but encourage new audience to appreciate the arts. Therefore, we will engage even more students in the watercolors competition in future years, increase awareness of art form by offering more workshops, organizing more mini exhibitions, 
that can further share our experience and encourage givings from the private donors and corporations. Next year, the SWS will be celebrating our 55th anniversary and we wish to stay relevant and to meet the artists' needs and continue to attract more talents to join us. We also like to seek greater collaboration or closer collaboration with all the arts-related agencies such as the National Art Councils for the engagement or community engagement and maybe with the National Gallery of Singapore for art research as well as more art groups for art exchanges. Okay, let me uh, extend my special thanks to the following uh, sponsors, the National Art Council and the Singapore art F Arts Federations for their generous support, the Singapore Chinese Cultural Centres for providing such a beautiful venues for us to conduct our exhibitions, and all our participating uh, artists, including the students, for taking part in these exhibitions. Last but not least, my hard-working organizing committee for the last three or four, four months of uh, working together, uh, especially some of them are volunteering themselves for their dedication and efforts in organizing this uh, exhibition for, for you. So, and to all of you, I wish everyone the best of health and I hope you will enjoy this exhibition. Have a pleasant Saturday afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Donald Tan. So now let's invite Ms. Gan Xiao Huang, Minister of State, Manpower and Education, to deliver a speech. Thank you. Mr. Donald Tan, President Singapore Watercolour Society, Dr. Ho Ka Leong, many distinguished guests, artists, art enthusiasts, including me. Um, students, parents, teachers, everyone who's here to support our students and the artists in Singapore. Very good afternoon. It's such a pleasure to be here today. Well, first of all, congratulations to the students. I don't think they are seated here. They are probably somewhere behind. Uh, we'll see them shortly. Um, I think there are altogether 54 of them um, receiving awards and recognition today. Congratulations to you. It's a proud moment not just for you, but for your families and friends who have supported you in your, in your journey of learning art and also coming here today. Art is integral to the holistic development of our youths. A quality arts education lays a strong foundation for students to develop skills and 21st century competencies such as self-awareness, social awareness, as well as inventive thinking. Art also encourages our students to collaborate, have empathy and appreciation of other cultures. One of my daughters is also an art enthusiast and she benefits greatly from the learning that she gets in school, from her friends, from her teachers. So I'm very, very thankful that today our art education in school is helping our students to discover their interests, their talent, and to equip them with the techniques, the tools, and the knowledge for them to apply themselves in art. And I hope that our students will put the art that they have learned to good use, to help people to shape society and to make Singapore a vibrant city. This is why we aim to provide students across all levels with the opportunity to hone their artistic talent through art. We have recently refreshed both the primary and lower secondary art teaching and learning syllabus in tandem with the evolving global landscape. Now, we also want through art to strengthen our students' 21st century competencies. This can help us ensure that our art education remains relevant and continues to nurture creative minds who will not only succeed in the art and creative industries, but also to apply their creative thinking across disciplines. After all, Art exists not just in the works of art, but in all things around us. The theme of this year's exhibition, Colourful Splashes, aptly describes the symphony of colours, emotions and stories brought to life through the watercolour by our students and the society's artists. As I was walking through the gallery, I was so impressed by the talent that we have amongst us. I'm heartened to hear that 
more than 1,400 students have submitted their artworks illustrating their vision of my beautiful Singapore. And also strikes me that the judges must have had a hard time going through you know, more than 1,400 pieces of submissions by our students. To the panel of judges, thank you. The development of the arts requires a whole of society partnership. Organizations like the Singapore Watercolor Society play an active role in promoting watercolor art and encouraging local artists in, with the different techniques and styles and of the subject matter. Over the years, the society has also organized various workshops training, competitions, to provide different platforms for our youths to hone their skills and showcase their talent and good work. I'd like to convey my deepest gratitude to the Singapore Water Colour Society for their good work in all these years. In closing, I'd like to congratulate all the participating artists and students for your dedication and your commitment to art. Your works inspire us to see the world through different lenses. And to all the guests here today, I hope you join me in appreciating and loving art through the eyes of the artists and the students. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.